Brian Hicker, Freddy vs. Jaws 6, the 6 one, the wrestling fan, and more here. Along with my puppy Mocha. Say hi. Say hi, come on. Say hi. Me. She ain't gonna say hi. And I'm, I got two, actually I didn't, got, I actually want to review these, so I'm gonna probably make it a little long. I saw two movies recently. One, you see what it is. And then, I finally saw Ghostbusters. You know that Ghostbusters collection video I actually made? I filmed that weeks before I even posted it. Like, I left it in on my tablet without uploading it. So, first before we get to Ghostbusters Afterlife, let's talk about Madam Web. And tell you why I think I shouldn't have got the 4K version. I got the 4K because I thought, and eh, this film, it looks like a good Spider-Man movie. So, I want to support it. I don't care what the reviews say, I want to support it. So we could get Madam Web 2 in the future. But, this movie... It's alright. It's not the worst superhero movie ever. You want to know what, in my opinion, the worst superhero movie ever? Bad nipples! It's not worse than Morbius. Also, because I actually... Y'all guys are going to hate me. I actually like Morbius. Do I like Man and Web more? No, Morbius is the better of the two. But still, it's not that bad. It, it's pretty bad, but it's not... Terrible, terrible. Like, I can watch this again. But anyway. It stars Dakota Johnson. Um, who else is in this film? Okay. Emma Roberts is in this. Wait, isn't she from Scream? And... Ready or not, and hold on. I I just seen this film. Was that her that was playing the one character? It kind of looked like it. Anyway, so if you don't know the plot of Man Web, it's basically about. Hold on, I'll read the back because I can't remember the plot. Man and Web tell, tells the standalone origins of one of Marvel's publishing's most. Ignonic heroes. Heroines. These. Well. You know what? Let me just tell y'all what I like and don't like. Scenes I like when the the baby shower scene where Adam Webb is trying to pick a name for Peter Parker. Like, at the time, he doesn't have a name. So they're thinking of names. And it cuts... It's basically, this film is kind of like a, like Freaky Friday. It keeps cutting, and she like, you already told me that. Why you tell me it again? Like, there's the scene where Uncle Ben was doing, I'm calling him Uncle Ben Parker, okay? There. It's trying to do something with her, and it cuts again, and he's like, and she reads the post, right, because it already happened. The ambulance scene was cool, but... A lot of other stuff didn't really make sense. I gave this film like two and a half stars. Because, well, it's not the bad, what, the most worst superhero movie ever made. Madam Web is still not the best. In fact, if, and when it comes to Spider-Man film, this is probably the worst Spider-Man adaptation. Any film, Morbius... We haven't seen Craven the Hunter, so I can't use that as an example. Venom, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, all of those Sony spinoffs, this is the worst one. But it's still not the worst superhero movie. There's been way worse superhero films than this. So will I watch it again? Possibly. But probably only once again, and then I'll never watch this movie ever again unless... Someone wants to watch it with me one time. That's the only way I'll watch it again after watching it again by myself. By the way, I did not watch the Blu-ray. I watched it on, as you can see, 
Y'all can't probably see that. I got across the across the Spider Verse on Voodoo. I'm trying to rewatch the ending. But I watched this on Voodoo. Voodoo, where you poo poo. Here a web. Her web connects them all. Oh, the worst scene in this movie. Yeah, I remember. Look at the cover. So, if y'all have seen the trailers for Madam Web, you know that there's spider women. They only appear in the film for, including, I think, the ending, for like five seconds. I'm like, you had spider women, and they're actually, I think, calling them spider women in the film, and they didn't use them. Now... Miguel, or whatever his name is. Wait, what's his name? Does it say? Well, this guy. Oh, wait. That's 2099. This guy. He's in the film for a good chunk, and he wears a suit for a good chunk. But the spider women and Madam Web don't get to wear the outfits throughout the whole film. Like, that could be like Spider-Man with it. <sighs> anyway, Madam Web. I've seen it recently. And it's okay. It's not the worst thing i ever seen in my life. That goes to Ouija Shark. And then a movie I actually enjoyed. Although there were scenes that didn't really make sense. I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed this franchise. It's a... It's a franchise that I watched for a long time. Well, not that long. I'm only 23, but I think I've been watching it since I was a kid. And this is the fourth installment in the franchise. It has Ant-Man, Paul, Paul Rudd. It has... What's his name? Finn Wolfhard, who most people know as Bill from It. And it has Bill Murray and all that. It's Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. The scene I did not really like that probably a lot of people do like is that they have this this weird storyline where I forget her her character's name, but she's talking to a ghost girl that's on fire. And they played chess together. That I did not get. But the rest of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Was good. They even brought Slimer back. Slimer was not in Afterlife. But they brought him back for Frozen Empire. The whole plot of this film. Is that they find this. Ancient. Wait what is it? Is it ancient? Um, let me read the back. I just seen the film, finished the film yesterday, so you would think I would remember. An ancient artifact, yeah, it's like this ball thing that has this like horn, like you can see him right there, this horn guy. And Bill Murray actually said something hilarious. He said, "Oh God, look who's horny." Or something like that. But I think this was a good film. Better than Madam Web. And yeah, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I'll probably watch whenever I can. Because it wasn't actually a bad movie. I heard in reviews people saying Afterlife is better. But I think this is better. It has so many references to the original Slimers in it. They have the original Firehouse. I don't even think the after Afterlife played. There's something strange in the neighborhood. This, the outro to the film, it's the Ghostbusters theme song. So yeah, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. If you like nostalgia and all that, you'll like it because it has a lot of callbacks to the original. Afterlife had it, but... This one has it even more. And you get more time with the original cast also.
So yeah. There it is. Now I can look at the special features. Oh, another thing I did not like about it. Kind of. This guy here. He's got like fire abilities. When had that been in Ghostbusters? A human with fire powers. Other than that, I did like Frozen Empire. And it's probably the best film I've seen out of the two films I watched recently. Which, funny thing is, they're both Sony movies. So, Madam Web, Two Stars, Ghostbusters After... Oh, Ghostbusters Afterlife is on the shelf. Frozen Empire, probably four and a half, maybe. Four and a half. Basically, take four stars and cut one part of the four stars in half. That's what the review is. Actually, you know what? Four stars. Cause that's what I gave Afterlife, and I said this was better than Afterlife. So, four stars for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And that's all the films I've watched recently. I'm about to soon watch Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Where is it? Yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to probably watch movies on Voodoo so I don't have to pop the disc in. There it is, Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. I got one hour and 51 minutes left. So yeah.